Hey guys, what is up? DT Thang here, and we're about to go uh, embark on a, a new game uh, called Tourist Bus Simulator. We're going to give it a shot, and uh, got recommended this by uh, Chris Taylor Gaming, and uh, I've also seen a couple other streamers doing this game, and it looked interesting, and uh, it, from what I've seen so far, it, it's pretty cool. So uh, anyway, let's get it started. <laughs> So welcome back, everybody. Um, glad to see everybody today. We are, I mean, this is brand new. Uh, I have not started this game at all. Um, I, I, I did play through uh, some of it yesterday just to get a, you know, kind of the control set up and kind of get a handle on things. But uh, from what I can see, this game is pretty in-depth. Uh, hey there, Sean. How you doing, buddy? Uh, doing, doing good. How are you? Uh, glad you could join me today. All right. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, let's see. Well, that's not at all what I selected. Oh, that's the game. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let's go back. Go to new game. Let's start a new game. Now, I still have my other one, uh, just so I can kind of learn, you know, what 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 I'm doing. <laughs> but let's see what happens here. Uh, just doing some work today. Uh, it's cool. Alright, here's the intro. Whoa, that seems really loud. Yeah, let me turn that down a little bit. Sorry. Now, <laughs> this is the one thing that I did, did confuse me, and it, it, it's kind of funny, but uh, I, mean, I understand the tourist concept of the airplane, but this has nothing to do with <laughs> driving a bus. It's an airplane coming into land. That's just funny. Something's not right. Bear with me here, guys. I apologize. I may have to restart this. Uh, darn it. All right. Bear with me here. Um, something's not right with my uh, steering wheel, so I'm going to have to uh, exit the game and come right back in. Like I said, new game. you got to get all the kinks worked out, so just uh, bear with me here, guys. The game will come back on in just a second. I just need to... Let it uh, calibrate again. Okay. All right, so that's recalibrated. Well, let's uh, launch the game again. If I can find it. 
There it is. All right, so the intro is going to be a little louder than uh, normal, too, so just bear with that. I think it'll be all right, though. I'll see if I can skip it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we'll still have to uh, test this out, though, and see what's what's going on. Oops. Actually, I need new game again because I didn't save anything. But, yep, we're going to do new game. I'm going to be flying in from, from flying into the airport, and uh, I'm going to be drinking coffee during this, so if you hear a slurp, I apologize, but I'll try to move the mic away. All right. All right, so hopefully this will work this time. Uh, let's see if I can skip the intro, since we've kind of already seen it. Nope, won't let me skip it. Uh, hmm. I'm not seeing any or very little audio coming out. There it goes. Now I see it. And uh, actually, we're leaving this low on purpose for right now. Because the airport itself is kind of loud. So. All right. There we go. Well, that's there, but I'm not seeing any. All right, I am going to turn it up just a little because I think that's just a little bit too low. We do need some background sound. There we go. Okay, so what did we sign on? We, a mail two. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do DT Fang streaming. Yep. And we're going to do realistic controls. So that means we pretty much have to do everything. Okay. Now, let's go and see if we can get in the car and actually do anything this time. Hopefully this will work this time. There we go. All right. That worked that time. All right. So drive to our company. All right. So the little GPS is on. I think that started it. Yep, that started the car. Oh, nope, wrong one. There we go. And put it in drive, and I think we're... Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now, the one thing I noticed immediately about this game, it's pretty cool, but uh, the cars it behave a little weird. The bus is okay, but the uh, cars themselves, when you're driving them, you really have to keep the gas pedal pushed down pretty well. You can't really coast, because the second you take off your... Uh, your foot off the gas, it slows down like really dramatically. Um, so that's, uh, if you see me kind of starting and stopping, that's part of the reason why. Um, so, anyway. Okay, Sean, yeah, go get you some tea. I'll be here. I'll just be driving to the company. And uh, we're getting started on a brand new game. This is, this is, this is nice. Um, and like I said, I did play this a little bit earlier. And uh, just to kind of get a get a feel for it, um, and so far so good. Uh, I'm, I'm liking it. Yep. Is that working? Okay, yeah, it is. All right. Okay, so we've got yeah, nobody's coming. <clears throat> and I can't really tell how accurate the speedometer is and all that so far, but I mean, whatever. It's no big deal. See, hopefully I'm still streaming here. I believe I am, even though it says no viewers, but that's all right. That's kind of weird that um, the way it works anyway. Sometimes it'll give me false information. Let's see. So we've got to go straight here. That's right. Okay, I know where I'm at now. So, I mean, the graphics on this are pretty good. They're not ridiculously great, but uh, they're they're decent. Uh, So it's uh, definitely a nice, definitely a nice uh, pre-release game, for sure. Hopefully they'll keep working on it. And... I mean, so far I'm impressed. Uh, the assist, and you'll see as we progress through the game, uh, they put a lot of thought into 
the, the business ownership and the it's not just driving there's a lot more to it than that which is pretty cool let's get the turn signal going here okay and I apologize about the height of I'm gonna have to reset this track IR quite a bit because it looks like it kind of it sees it and then kind of gets stuck down below there we go all right, so uh, evidently we unlock things as we pass them. All right, this says park in the yard and go into and exit the vehicle. All right, good enough. I'm not. I, I did park over there before, but I'm not going to do that this time. So let's see. Let's turn the car off. Let's put the parking brake on and get out. Yep. Okay. So here's our company. And bear with me. Let me just double check and make sure that we've got that. I'm still broadcasting. Something doesn't seem right. Yeah, okay. It's still it's still there. All right. Um so let's do let's do Fang Tours. Or Fang Tourism. How about that? There we go. That's a good company name. Okay. So now enter my office. So this little adobe adobo uh thing here is the office. It's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside for sure. All right, so it says go to the computer to buy your first bus. So let's go back over to the computer, which is right here. Hey there, Fernando. What's up, buddy? Oh, you're up, uh, or not up, but uh, you're in early today. Good to see you. Yeah, we're going to try out uh, something new today. Uh, we're going to be doing the Fern Bus. Uh, not Fern Bus. I keep saying Fern Bus. This is by the makers of Fern Bus, but this is a tourist bus simulator. And so far, it's really cool. Um, okay, so click on this button to open secondhand vehicle market and choose one of the available vehicles. Details and buy options will be displayed. And then hold the buy button until purchase the vehicle. So we're going to hit continue and hold it there. Okay, so fleet, we don't have anything in the fleet. There's no uh, nothing in the workshop. There's plenty of new vehicles, or at least a couple of them. But, uh, I mean, these are expensive. These are like 300000 340000 so we can't afford those yet. So we're going to go over here to the secondhand vehicles. And now what I did last time is I pretty much bought the cheapest piece of junk that there was um, just, cup, just because. So, I mean, it needs an oil change. It needs a tire change, a V-belt change, um, all this kind of stuff and uh, components. It, it's only got it, really the only thing that's bad on it is the body, uh, which we can repair later on once we get kind of go into the game. But, uh, okay, so you know what? I'm just going to do this one. Let's collect your vehicle at the harbor on June 5th. So we've got we've selected our, our bus. Now we got to go to the wall clock and open the calendar. So over here, we open the calendar and it should say to skip to the next appointment. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna. This is where we need to be, and we can hit this to skip to our next scheduled appointment, which is this bus vehicle collection here. So we'll go ahead and skip to the next appointment. Boom, and that passes time. So. Now drive to the harbor in whatever and get your bus. So we gotta go back out, get back in the car. Looks like a Range Rover. Yeah, that's a Range Rover. So let's go ahead and hop in. It's a, yeah, that one. All right, take the brake off, go ahead and start it. All right, <clears throat> let's see if I can turn around in here. Oop, gotta put it in gear first. going on here I'm well, just not going into gear all right come on now it just worked a minute ago well now that worked why did the gear up not work there we go now it's working oh that was weird I don't know what in the world happened there okay so, um, let's see if this will back up now. Yep, okay. Now, I know that you can damage your bus. I don't think you can damage your car. 
So anyway, we got to drive all the way over to the harbor and pick up our bus. So let's go ahead and do that. The harbor's not too far away, but it gives you a good little uh, chance to get used to the bus without having you know actual passengers on it and stuff. So all right, so let's see here. We've got clear that way, clear this way. Okay. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Yeah, this uh, car gets going pretty quickly. That's the only thing, yeah, so far that I really wish they'd improve on. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I'll find stuff later, but the first initial thing I wish they would improve on is the car, uh, the physics for the car and the accelerator and all that. Um, I mean, the steering is okay on it. It's not great. It could be just a little bit sharper, but um, the... Uh, Uh, like the, the, the accelerator and stuff, that's the only thing I wish they would uh, fix on it. Now the bus, like I said, so far the bus, it, it's not really a problem. Uh, you can get used to it fairly easy. Uh, because it uh, it doesn't slow down quite as fast like when you take your foot off the accelerator. Alright. fast there. Let's see, let's do... Well, I won't even do that since we're about to get off the, the uh, highway here. I was going to put on cruise control, but I changed my mind. So, going to get our first bus. Um, now, I, if it's like the other one that I got, it's going to be white. Just plain white, but I think that will change um, as we progress in the game. We should be able to get uh, new liveries and uh, things uh, to put on the side of the bus. So make it a little bit more colorful um, evidently you can like hire people to do uh, like a tour tour like a tour guide that uh, you know will, will uh, talk to the people and tell them what's uh, what's around the area and what's going on and all that kind of stuff so that that'll be neat once we get to that point Ooh. Yeah, definitely does not handle anything like some of the other games that I've driven. So it's a little bit of a learning curve as far as the driving goes. Um, and also driving the bus, boy, you really got to turn the wheel. And it, I mean, it's got a it's got a neat feel to it. I mean, it feels like you're driving a large vehicle. I think that's what they kind of stuck with with the. Uh, oh, what the, there! I just smacked into that <laughs> light pole. Um, I think that's what they stuck to with the cars uh, driving uh, it feels more like a, a big vehicle and it probably should not steering should be just a little tighter on it as well all right so we are headed to the port here we evidently got the bus shipped to us the used bus I mean like I said as long as it works to start with our beginner bus I'm not that worried about it all right, so if I remember correctly, the bus is over, whoops, probably shouldn't have driven right there, but. Yeah, there's the bus right there. Let's see if I can get over the curb there. Okay, it's no big deal. It's just a little rail. Okay, there's the bus. So now, yep, that's the same one that I had before. All right, so let's park. Uh, turn off the engine, hop out. Okay, and let's get in the bus. All right, so walk over and we gotta hit the enter key or the uh, the mouse button that'll open the bus. You know, this is kind of cool because you can open up the luggage compartments and stuff too, and the back door. Um, so there's there's two doors on it. So let's go ahead and get in the seat. Uh, I want to do this. There we go. Okay, leave your car behind and drive the bus back to the company. So let's go ahead and start up the bus. That just turns on the electricity. We have to push and hold the uh, this one to start it. There it goes. <coughs> and uh, guys, make sure you let me know if I need to turn up the volume or not on the bus. Uh, well, the bus itself is quiet 
for the most part, so you may not hear a whole lot, but all right, so okay, we have to activate the destination display, which is Z. Okay, and that's done. We got to turn on the air conditioning, which let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, there we go. Uh, I got to turn on the air, which is here. Okay, we can adjust it up and down. Let's go ahead and adjust it up since it's just me. I'm going to go ahead and adjust it up to like 25 Celsius. Uh, okay, and then we're going to go back to this. We're going to close this door over here, which that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. It's that. There we go. Okay, and we're in drive. There we go. All right, we are on our way back. And like I said, now this bus, uh, it handles like a bus for sure because you're sitting well front of the wheels so it's a little weird it's not like a truck where uh, like a like that type of truck right there where you're um, sitting on top of the wheels directly you're a little bit in front of the wheels so you actually turn a little bit wider like that right there than you normally would um, and you do get uh, you don't get fi like physical crash damage but you do get um, like stat damage uh, if you wreck so <clears throat> alright so we'll get on back to the company here and uh, get a few things uh, unlocked we'll get our first route um, and learn a few things about that let's see if my horn works Yep. Horn works. Alright, this guy's coming up here. I don't know why he turned on his turn signal. Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> well, evidently, I was going way too fast. Now, I do like the reverse. It has that little reverse camera that comes up. So, that's pretty cool. Oop, nope, still in neutral. Yeah, I need a little bit of practice here. Something's not. All right, I don't know why that turned so strange coming up the hill there. I guess I was just going too fast. All right, so we got to turn here. We're going to woo. All right, that definitely hit the curb. But at least I didn't get any, I don't think I get damage from hitting the curb uh, like you do in uh, Bus Simulator 18, so. All right. Let's slow it on down. Now these are definitely, definitely, you got to make sure you have plenty of room uh, to maneuver, especially because these streets are fairly small. So it's usually best to kind of make sure you're parked a little bit further back when you're about to turn or before you turn. All right, so let me not get going too terribly fast here. So we can get this bus back without doing a whole lot of damage to it. Okay. Alright, I'm thinking maybe I might want to turn the bus sounds up just a little bit. Um, but then again, maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, so I know you guys can't really see it. It's kind of hard to see on the dash as well, but the speed that we're going, we're going uh, 50. Uh, it says over there in the uh, right behind my uh, oh, the GPS. Oops, you know what? I totally missed the exit. Uh, let's see if I get damage doing this. Hopefully not. Nope, we're good. All right, yeah, I should have gotten off there. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to look. I was looking at the screen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to move my uh, camera around. Yeah, I know, but uh, Blake, uh, I was shocked. I had a I had my 90th one subscribed last night, and then this morning when I looked, there was 91. So, um, yeah, super happy about that. That's for sure. That is for show. Sure. All right. We are back. And 
Let's just park it in the yard here. Yep, park in the yard and exit the vehicle. So, I'll just park it right here. We're not going to pull it into the shop yet. All right, and we should be able to open the door. Yep. Set gear in neutral. Okay, and then we should be able to exit. Enter the office. Okay, why did that... Okay, there we go. Okay, got out. Oh, the door shuts automatically. That's strange. I don't remember it shutting automatically before. Okay, so we got to go back in the office now. And this is where this game definitely uh, takes a, a, a neat turn where you actually have to get orders and do a bunch of other stuff um, as well. So, yeah, uh, I, do, I apologize, guys, too. I do need to update that uh, subscriber goal. It, it Sometimes it does not update um, for whatever reason. I don't understand why. It's, not, it's like it's not pulling from the right spot or something. But anyway, all right, so orders. Let's go ahead and get to orders. Click on this button to see available orders. Click, then click on an order and confirm it. You can confirm, you can find your accepted orders by clicking this button. Okay, so we should only have like one order, I think. All right, new orders. Yep, there's our order. Short trip. No orders available. All right, so now we have our current orders, which is this. Yep. So that's good. We've got our order. Now I think we have to go over to the bulletin board. Nope, open the calendar and skip the time to the next appointment. Okay, so we'll go over here to the calendar and go ahead and skip to next appointment, which will be our new route. Board your bus. First trip. All right, first official trip. Picking up passengers. Like it's in the morning here. I don't know why I just walked over to the pet to the driver's side there. <laughs> Can't get in that way. All right, so let's make sure everything looks good. Yep. Not bad. All right, let's. Uh, I think it's that one. Yep, that's the one. Okay, we gotta start and follow navigation to the first stop. Um, and shut that. Start ignition with E. Why is that not working? All right, something. Oh, there we go. Huh. That's weird. I've got some lights on here that I'm not familiar with. No, that's the parking brake. They're like a lag or something? What's going on here? Okay, that's the parking brake. What was that then? Okay, I don't know what that does. Um, Alright, so there's that. We need to reverse it. So there's our reverse. Let's go ahead and turn as much as we can. Try not to hit anything while we're backing up. Oh, yeah, this is not going to be good because we're going to have to... Yeah, let me go ahead and pull up this way more, and then that way we'll have room to back up. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Try to back up on the road here right to where that little barrier is. That's what I did last time. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. On our way. Let's see. Door shut. Yep. Okay, here we go. First stop is just right around the corner. Oh, it's early too, looks like. Do I have my headlights on? I guess so. Hopefully they're on automatically. Okay, so here we go. This is... Alright. Nobody coming that way. The stop's right there, but I have to circle around to get to it. Following the GPS, which I apologize, guys. You can't see. It's actually behind my uh, <laughs> my camera there. I'll, I'll fix that for next stream. I'll, I'll move things around, get them a little bit more 
organized. Actually, I probably need to move my stuff up to the top. There, you know what? Let's do that real quick. Let me uh, pause it here. And let me go in. I'm going to change this around. Move me up here. And move my little logo up here. Whoop, that's not it. Let's move that up here. There we go. And also I need to do it on this window. And while that window's up, guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And that's going there. This is going here. And I need one more here. The like button. Yeah, bear with me. Almost. Get that there. Get this. Now that's that. Get this here. And they'll be right back, which has no camera, but it does have the logo and the tele I gotta get rid of that telemetry box. I copied it over from the other one. <coughs> okay. I think we're good now. So let's go ahead and uh what am I doing? Uh oh, back to the live broadcast screen so I can see what I'm doing. There's that and let's see. Okay, we are, okay, now, here we go, let me recenter everything. Okay, we should be good. Got our uh, turn signal on, and we're going. About to pull into our first bus stop and pick up passengers. <clears throat> hey there, Toe buddy, how you doing? Just trying out a little uh, bus sim here. Let's see, is it that one? Nope, it's that one. And then it's open that door and the other one. Okay, here they all come. Come on in, folks. Oh, wow, we got a full load today on this first run. All right, you can change the view around, too, here. I've got that. That's uh, your speedometer and stuff, which is weird that that would have a full screen uh, setting now all these other ones I understand um, there's the interior of the bus the, in the back here's the exterior I need to set up the button for the exterior just so we can kind of switch back and forth to that because that's that's kind of cool but all right so there's that let's close the door let's get back in the cockpit turn on the blinker disengage the parking brake and here we go all right so first first trip is underway Remember that I really got to turn the steering wheel quite a bit more. I might have to turn up the uh, sensitivity on the steering wheel. I mean, it does feel more like a bus, though. If you've driven anything remotely large, I used to drive a uh, bread truck, or we used to call it a bread truck. It's uh, basically one of the UPS size trucks, uh, the ones that deliver the packages that are, you know, bigger than a van, but uh, not as big as some of the, Anyway, I used to drive a larger one of those. Um, and uh, you really got to, it handles completely differently than a car. So this does definitely have that kind of feel to it, which is kind of cool. All right. Well, from what I can see, just by glancing at the uh, screen there, it looks like it's uh, streaming pretty smooth. Hopefully it is for you guys. Let's see here. All right, now this is a bus lane, so we want to go in the bus lane for sure, because we're going to the airport. Looks like and picking up uh, picking up some more passengers. So we're picking up some out of town um, or from town. And then it looks like we're picking up some at the airport, but the well, the ones we're picking up at the airport are further down. Let's see if I can actually do this one without uh, crashing too much, because as you crash, your uh, bus, you know, the uh, status of the bus, whatever that's called, I can't remember uh, what exactly it's called. But anyway, basically the bus health goes down, so I definitely don't want that to happen. <coughs> 
And I figured out too, uh, when I see where it says bus station, I'm gonna drive straight through here instead of following the GPS 100%. Um, it's actually better to go this way through the bus or through here to the bus station since you know I'm a bus uh, it'll take you straight through to the parking uh, area here that uh, is has passengers waiting so luckily the GPS kind of updates itself all right so this is saying turn all the way and yep there's the spot we'll go ahead and pull in here yeah I've got people waiting all right, so we'll do that. Open up both doors. No, oh, why is that back door not opening? There we go. Now it's open. I don't know why that didn't open before. Yep, got people exiting too. So okay, yeah, something was weird about that. Let everybody get off that wants to get off. And looks like that might be, well, no, there's somebody else that kind of popped up. They popped up. Good grief. Got a lot of people come getting off the bus. Okay, so there's that. There's the front door. <laughs> you hop on the bus. Next three stops, please. $25. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's okay, let's get rid of that. Let's back up. All right, I do really, really like the uh, the backup camera. That that's a really cool feature, um, and it's pretty smooth too. Because a lot of times you'll have problems with mirrors and stuff um, when you're playing these types of games. They tend to like really drag down the uh, the frames per second, but. Uh, on this one, yeah, so far I haven't really had any frame rate issues. Um, so this one's pretty good. I think I had some frame rate issues to start with, with uh, Bus Sim uh, 18. But, anyway, which it, I do plan on doing that that one as well. But I wanted to, since this one is a little bit newer, I wanted to uh, give this one a shot and see how it streams and what you guys thought and everything. So everything that has like that circle and an H on it down there in the GPS, that is a, a bus stop. So eventually we will be hitting these stops once we unlock the, ro the routes and whatnot. All right. Now, from what I can tell, and I could be wrong about this, but uh, at least to start with, um, it looks like so far I can't actually flip the bus. <laughs> Don't ask me how I already know that, but um, yeah, I've I've come into a couple of spots that were kind of tricky, uh, where I was going way too fast and uh, ended up. I mean, it won't turn really really sharply, but uh, yeah, the bus it kind of feels like it leans when you turn, um, just the way the camera reacts to it, like right here if I turn really good to the right it just has a weird feeling like it leans I don't know if it does or not I mean in real life it would but <clears throat> okay Here, this is like an on ramp, I believe. Yep. Yeah, and on this, I'm not so worried about the uh, <clears throat> speed limit as far as trying to keep up to close to where the speed limit is. Uh, when we get a uh, you know a straightaway like this, of course I'll speed up. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely not playing this game with uh, speed in mind. <laughs> as far as trying to get there too fast. Because from what I can tell, there's not like a, uh, a penalty for being on time or being late. Uh, but, I mean, that may come into play. I have no idea. So, like I said, I've only played it for a little bit yesterday just to kind of get everything set up and test it out. So, I think you guys will like the aspect of, uh, you know, like the, the routes. And you get to buy your own apartment. Uh, and you get to furnish your own apartment and different things like that in here. 
uh, which is cool. So let me get a couple of these jobs done. I know at some point I've got to send my bus off for repair. Um, I'd like to repair it myself, actually. Uh, hire a mechanic to do it. That way I'm not having to worry about driving all the way down and getting... Uh, you can fast travel to different garages once you unlock them and once you get them. Um, I have not... Well, like I said, this is... Oop, I just ran that stop sign. Um, this is the uh, initial stages, though, and you have to you know, get a couple of missions done before that actually unlocks. So... All right, pulling up on our first, or our second stop. Okay, and parking brake, and open that door, and open that door. Did both of them open, is the question. Yes, they both did, good. Yeah, it seems like the uh, most of the people get out on that the back door, which makes sense. That way you've got people coming in and going out at the same time. Instead of everybody trying to exit through the front door. So guys, if you're enjoying the stream today, I would appreciate at least you considering uh, subscribing. That would be awesome. Um, also, if you do subscribe, make sure you click that notification button, and that will... Oh, wow, looks like the bus emptied right there. Um, notification button that will let you know next time I am streaming live. <clears throat> I thought I changed that. Maybe I didn't. I was, uh... All right, anyway. Uh, all right, so I'm going to close both doors. That should be closing. Yep. Let's take off the parking brake. It should still be in gear. Yep, it is. Okay. All right. Let's go on, circle around, and then come back down. The uh, other one is on the other side of the street, basically across from where we just were. Yeah, this first trip's not terribly long. The second one's uh, quite a bit longer. Oh, uh, and see those little things uh, that have circles around them. Those are things that you unlock. Uh, and you get uh, points, like, they're not really reputation points, but as you unlock things, um, I don't know if you can, like, fast travel to them or what, but uh, it, it's something to do with uh, it, it unlocking them uh, gives you more routes or something like that, the more you unlock. So, all right, so that is not where we're going. We're going to this one, I think, is, yeah, we're taking a left up here. Okay, nobody's coming, that's good. Always makes for an easier turn. And then we're going to be taking a right, I believe. Yep. And pull out just a little bit, see if I can avoid hitting the stop sign. Pull way out and then turn. Alright, that's going to go up on the curb a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, did I miss the... I must have missed the stop. Not really sure what happened there. Let's see. Might have to drive it back around and see what I did. I think I missed the stop. Hmm. Well, I don't see how I could have possibly missed that stop. Let, let me drive back down here again just to make sure. Oh, I turned on the wrong street. That's why. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did wrong. Good thing I went back. All right. All right. So are they going to let me go here? Looks like. Yep. They're going to let me go. And then, yes. Okay. So here we go. Now we should have a stop on our right. All right, this guy's going to let me go. Hopefully nobody's coming this way. Nope. All right, so we're good here. Take our time. 
hopefully I won't hit anything. Okay, here we go. Alright, break. Uh, nope. Alright, we should have, whoop, why did that not... Okay, now I'm confused. That's supposed to open the doors. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set up a quick button just for the outside. Here, you know what? Let me do that real quick. Just bear with me here, guys. I'm gonna set up a quick button so I can see the outside. Uh, da -da -da -da, controls. I need... Yep, man's lion coach. Uh, toggle, high bed wipe, wipers, fix break, zoom, gear up your down retarder. Uh, where's it at? It's toward the top, if I remember right. Now, I've got the switch camera, which does all of them, but that's not the one I want. I want the cruise control wiper faster, fixing break, zoom. Open, close, later, yeah, retarder, air conditioner, beam light, switch. Lift up, lift down, front, lift up, rear, lift up, camera outer. Camera outer, that's it. Alright, so let me add the key here. We'll do... Yeah, circle. I don't think that's assigned to anything else. Camera cockpit is that button, that's fine, that's fine. Window shade up, window shade down. Huh. I didn't even know it had a window shade. Okay, display, look left, look right, camera cockpit, one, two, three, and four, which that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're good there. Let's go ahead and accept those changes. I'll go back to the game and resume. Back to game. All right, so there's that. Now I should be able to hit circle. Nope. Oh, you know what? There we go, so that, circle, that, circle. Okay, yeah, that works. All right, so if I go back into here, and then I go to circle, it stays on the outside view. Okay, so that, that will work. That way I can at least tell for sure that I closed the right doors and whatnot. Okay, so those are closing. Let's go back interior. Let's get the brake off. Yep, there we go. All right, whoops, blinker. Okay. All right. Get on down the road and get this uh, job done here. All right, is this a stop sign? Yes, it is. All right. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games I'm going to have to obey the signs and whatnot. All right. Do 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 do. Yeah, it'll be kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Here's where I screwed up last time. I was going way too fast going up a hill or over the top of the hill, and it kind of messed me up. So let me just take my time. Even though speed limit is 50, I'm not going to go anywhere near that. <clears throat> Blinker, they should be turning there, so let's do this, even though this is not technically correct. I think you could do the middle lane until after that turn, and then you go into the right hand side lane and then do this if I understand the way the roundabouts are supposed to work I think that's the right way to do it okay so that did automatically yeah that turned the blinker off automatically all right we're getting off here at our exit this is our exit for our main office definitely some delay going on. I wonder if I've got the, uh, sorry about the delay, guys, if you're chatting to me and I don't re reply quickly. I didn't realize that the, there was that much of a delay between, I must have the settings set way up as far as the quality goes. So I do apologize.
Now, the chat itself, though, will, uh, you know, pop up immediately, uh, but my re reply won't, uh, you know, because the stream is delayed. Uh, I evidently have the wrong delay set. I thought I turned it on the medium one, which is what I normally use, but I'm actually watching it on the video screen now, and it's uh, going pretty slow. It's way behind. But that may be why the uh, stream looks so good. <laughs> So six of one, half of a dozen, dozen of the other, <laughs> for sure. All right, here's where we're going back to the airport again. lane of course uh, and I think we're going right back to where we were so we'll go all the way down to the bus depot I don't think no actually we stop here or do we I can't remember at some point I'm sure we'll have to come back here and stop at the uh, you know right right there in front of the airport but not yet <clears throat> yeah I'll be glad when we can actually paint our bus that'll be interesting it to be something other than just plain white. Alright, we'll go back this way. It just cuts a little bit of time out of driving. We'll go through here. this one I'll have to kind of do a, a zigzag to park it I believe all right big turn here <clears throat> yeah I've got to have the latency turned way up or way down or something whatever that setting is I need to set it to the middle where I normally have it I think I've got it on the wrong one and I do apologize about that guys but as far as watching the stream back later it should look really good okay here's our stop should be able to go to the external view, and we do. Let's go ahead and put on the brake. And let's go ahead and open the front door and open the back door. Is that both open? Nope. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, there we go. Mouse is very sensitive doing this, too, by the way. Okay, there we go. Now we got people going out and people coming in at the same time. So that's the way it's supposed to work. <clears throat> I don't know if they have a luggage or what the deal is, but... Okay, so it looks like they're all gone. Alright, we can go ahead and close her up. Let's get back in the here and do the brake and reverse it. Let's back her out and get on to the final stop. I think there's only one more stop, if I remember correctly. know about fuel that's the only other thing that I'm not really sure on I haven't had to fill up yet I guess I need to kind of keep an eye on that as well just to make sure maybe after this trip I'll uh, or right before the start of the next one or during the next one I'll try to pull in there and just check and see uh, what the fuel is all about getting fuel Alright, 
this, I believe, like I said, I think this one's going to be the last stop. I hope. For this one. Oh. Alright, so this one. Now that's weird. It did something weird just then. It uh, showed like a weird. I, that might have been because I was in the wrong lane. Alright, so we're going straight here instead of getting on the highway. So we're going straight. And. Let's see, is it right here? Yep, right, right here. Okay, nobody's coming. Do the circle, drop off at the last stop, and I think that's it, because that should take us right back to where we are. <clears throat> or were, I mean. To our uh, office. To our yard. Okay, and... El Matural. Yep, there's the stop right up here. Go ahead and turn on our turn signal. And we will stop right there. Let all passengers disembark. Do that. Put it in neutral. Uh, do both doors. I should have... Why is it... Oh, you know what? I'm doing the wrong one. That should do both. Let's go ahead and go to the outside view and make sure everybody gets... Some. Nope, it only did the one again. There. Maybe I'm trying to do them too fast. That might be the issue. All stops have been approached. No passenger has been left at a stop. Return to your company. Alright, so we got that. We got that. Let's get back in. Let's take off the brake. Put it in gear. And left. Here we go. Now we shouldn't have to drive too far. I think we just kind of round the corner here and come right back. I think we'll be good. Oh, don't hit anything. All right. That was kind of close. Uh, once we get back to the company here, guys, I'm going to um, check and see if I can turn change the latency during the middle of a stream to try to speed it up a little bit. Because, yeah, I'm just now... There's got to be at least like a minute delay. Is what it's looking like. Maybe even more than that. So, let's get back to the yard here. Well, the good news is I don't think I crashed any that time. At all. So I'm getting a little bit better at driving. Alright, so there's... Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Put it in neutral. And turn it off. Exit. Whoops, not exit. Turn it off. Exit there. There we go. Okay, the first employee. Enter your office. Okay, let me try to fix this real quick, guys. Let me just pause the game. Let me go out to my stream health here. Let's see if I can. I'm not sure if I can change this on the fly. I guess we'll find out here in a second. see. Uh, actually, yes, I can. Well, no, it's set to low latency. I wonder what's going on with that. Huh. I don't have a added delay. Yeah, it won't let me change it during the middle of it anyway. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, guys. That's a little strange. So, alright. Anyway, we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, it said something about our first employee, so let's go back to the game. And it says go into the office, so we'll walk over here to the office. Is that a steam cleaner? Oh, no, it's just a box. Or not steam, a pressure washer is what I was talking about. Okay, go into the next room, click the folder on the desk. So it's this room, there's a folder on the desk. Okay, click this button to open the job market, then click the applicant in the list. And then you can negotiate negotiate the monthly salary. Alright. So we need the job market. We need to find somebody here. So I don't want anybody that's super, super great. But I would like somebody that's decent. 
so maybe that's a 14 out of 10 that ain't bad a 10 out of, or I mean 14 out of 100 that's a 14 there's a 10 let's go with a 10 and let's see if she'll take a thousand Okay, so we got her for a thousand. So that's our employee. Okay, go into the next room, click on the folder. I already did that. Click the applicant from the list. Uh, well, she should be here. All employees. Well, okay, evidently I didn't hire her. I thought I did. All right, so we were trying to do about a 10. I guess we're going to go with like an 8 now. Yeah, let's try this for like 900. Okay, so that was, that's good. All right. All right, well, I, I mean, I've hired them, but they're not like disappearing off the list, so I don't understand... Go into the next room, click the... All right, what is going on here? Something's acting strange. Okay, job market, click on that. Confirm to hire the applicant. Okay, it's not, evidently, they're not liking my offers, is what it is. So, six... All right, let's go with this guy, and let's just do what he wants. Okay, from tomorrow. Oh, that's what it is. You know what? No, there it is. Okay, so evidently the other one's just, like, denied it for whatever reason. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but anyway. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> So he'll start tomorrow, so we're going to close that, and then it should tell us, okay, new employee will be ready tomorrow. Simply go to the calendar and pass the time to the next day. Okay, so we're going to go over here and pass the time. Calendar. We'll just go, today's the 6th, we'll go to the 7th. Skip time till Friday, yep. Okay, your new employee has arrived and is now available. Get a new order again. So new orders are from here. The fax machine. Okay. Can Continue. <clears throat> Actually, you know what, guys? Let me, um, I think I'm going to um, end the stream here for a little bit and see if I can't figure out why it is lagging so far behind. Uh, normally, there is not this much lag, so I'm either doing something wrong or uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. So here, let me, let me save it real quick. Uh, save, load and save, save here. Let's go ahead and save that one uh yes okay so we have saved the game uh let's go ahead and i'm going to like i said i'm gonna exit the stream right there for now um let me see if i can't figure this out and then i will be uh i'll probably be back in a little while um but we may try something totally different uh, game wise but anyway i'm not sure so anyway uh thanks guys for joining me and uh we will see you shortly